Hi, this is Amy at Amy's Free Motion Quilting Adventures. You can find us on the internet at freemotionquiltingadventures.blogspot.com And I am working on a uh, piece for a purse. This is a piece that will join the front to the back. And I thought I'd do a feather down the length of it. I thought I'd take a video for you guys. I did not stitch my spine. I did, however, draw it out freehand with the purple air erase marker. And I just went around the tip of it there. I'm going to turn this just a little bit and stitch back down my spine. This is the first time I've gone down my spine. You can see the feathers that I've already quilted. I'm kind of looking through the camera to see what I'm doing at the moment. So, let's see if I can get my seal a better. I'm going to rotate around here. It's maybe two inches by one and a half inches. But this way gets you a great shot of what I'm doing. Here's the beginning point of my feather. This feather that's going back in the opposite direction goes up the other side of the purse. I have not trimmed my thread end, so I'm just going to pull them out of the way. And I'm going to begin to feather back up the other side of the feather. And marked out the lines of my pattern piece so that I don't put where I don't need to and then I'm trying to stay within the seam allowance of that pattern piece. Not within, I'm trying to stay outside of the seam allowance for this piece because my feathers don't look quite so pretty if we put a piece of binding or a seam in them. feathers. Back a little farther out. I can't see my hands at the moment because I'm kind of got them off to the side. Let me get them back in here so you have a better frame of reference for what I'm doing. Sometimes we get so comfortable where we have our hands we forget to replace them so that we have better control hands get too far away from where we're stitching, our quilt can bunch up between our hand and the needle. We don't want that. Now this piece is interfaced on the back, so it's relatively stiff. It's not going to matter if my hands are farther away. Get really close to the end of this feather. You've heard it, but a couple of times my machine is making a little tick tick sound. So I'm going to have to check it out when I get done with this feather in this video and see why I've got a little tick tick noise going on. minutes worth of a video, but I'm going to go ahead and finish out this feather. I've got a couple more inches left. Picking up the speed a little bit. And now I'm starting to look at where I'm going so that I can fill in this last little feather between the tip of the plume. And I 
I just stitched a little bit right there in place. And since this is going in a lined purse, I'm just going to cut my thread to my thread cutter. I pull my foot up before I pull it out. And there it is. I'll put a couple of still pictures on the uh, blog where you can find it. freemotionquiltingadventures.blogspot.com and those are my free motion quilting adventures. I'm Amy Johnson. I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.